How these mysterious creatures are immortal? The alluring waters of the blue ocean are not only home to some of the most magnificent creatures, but also to mysterious creatures that can live for over 10 million years. These immortal creatures from deep within our seas seem to have unlocked the secret to the most coveted fountain of youth that will put most skincare products to shame. Some of them can hit the rewind button and instantly turn back time, but how do they do it? Are they just mysterious or are they the gods? Let's dive in. There are over 300,000 types of jellyfish, but one immortal one stands out amongst all, the Teratopsis dorni, a tiny variety of jellyfish. This ever-aging jellyfish is often considered to be biologically immortal. Yes, this creature can live for over 10 million years. It reverses its aging process by transforming its cells into a younger state. Once at this younger stage, it starts its aging process all over again and the cycle continues. If by any chance it gets injured, it turns the polyp stage and, and within three days, it can transform its cells into younger ones. And if one of the tentacles collapses, under the right conditions the cells can grow into the polyp stage, which then proceeds to grow into a mature jellyfish. If faced with major environmental stress, all the jellyfish has to do is hit rewind and it's back to its infant stage. This is all thanks to its mature somatic cells that can transform into other mature somatic cells. This backward aging jellyfish can also revert to sexual immaturity even after it had already reached maturity. For so long, cockroaches were believed to be the only resilient species on the planet capable of surviving the apocalypse. But that's far from the truth. The tardigrade, also known as a water bear or moss piglet, is said to be capable of existing to infinity. It is considered practically indestructible due to the fact that it can survive the Earth's most extreme conditions. The lack of food or water is not a death sentence to it, as it is for humans and most animals. If anything, it can go for up to 30 years without food or water. The morning dew is more than enough to rehydrate it after long periods of drought. It can survive in areas with as low temperatures as sub-zero. According to an American scientist, the tardigrade can remain alive while frozen for about 20 months, and it will still function properly once it's thawed and can withstand temperatures that are as high as 300 degrees. Even the most lethal radiation that is capable of wiping out a herd of elephants poses no threat to the water bear. At high pressures of 87,000 psi, which is equivalent to at least six times the pressure at the bottom of the ocean, a tardigrade will still survive. This is more than impressive considering that half of that amount of pressure is enough to kill all other forms of life. This also explains why you can't find it in the driest of deserts, the rainforests, or even the highest mountaintops on all seven continents. Following research that was conducted back in 2007, it was concluded that tardigrades are also capable of surviving even in space. They can get into a state known as cryptobiosis, which is a near-death state where their metabolism stops and the tardigrades quickly adapt and protect themselves from the harsh conditions. It's no wonder that these mysterious creatures have been able to survive five mass destructions as specified by live science and will probably live through thousands of years to come. The Gompert's Law, developed by Benjamin Gompertz, describes the death rate as a sum of an age-dependent component. In similar terms, the older living organisms get, the higher their chances of death. However, American lobsters defy this law. As with most creatures, the larger the lobster, the older it is. The only difference is that lobsters do not begin to age once they've attained sexual maturity. If anything, their fertility gets better with age. The molting of their exoskeleton makes it harder to accurately estimate its lifespan. Luckily, on the coast of Newfoundland, a 140-year-old lobster was captured, which only makes it clear that lobsters can live for far more than a century. These ever-growing creatures never die from old age, but from predator attacks or the undying desire 
of the human race for their delicious meat. Their slow aging is attributed to their slow metabolism, which is a result of the cold temperature of the environment. These ocean dwellers do not experience senescence, which simply means that they do not grow old. They can continuously repair their DNA, thereby allowing them to renew their aging cells from time to time. Also known as planarian worms, flatworms are capable of undergoing complete regeneration limitlessly. Any damaged or aging tissue regenerates into newer, younger tissues. If a flatworm is cut into two, whether lengthwise or across, it would form two separate identical worms. If it was cut into multiple pieces, each piece would transform into a new complete worm with a head and brain. Each worm would be identical to the original worm, so it would be difficult to tell if something ever happened. This is why they are often said to be immortal under the edge of a knife. Admit it, it's creepy and cool at the same time. Flatworms are capable of continuous regeneration due to their pluripotent stem cells, which can divide countless times and without error, thereby making a replica of the original worm. Flatworms also rely on the WNT signaling pathway, which emits signals to cells where parts have been cut off to form new parts. It only requires a 279th of a flatworm for successful regeneration to occur. They seem to have figured out effective cloning way before humans could even think of it. If creatures could narrate the tales of time, the silentuous deep sea sponge would probably give the most interesting of them all as it can live for over 11,000 years. This is because it can control the growth of its specules, causing them to grow at a very slow rate, hence slowing down its aging process. The Greenland shark boasts of being the oldest vertebrae on the planet. Its only secret is that it experiences slow growth and metabolism, which is a result of the freezing temperature of the deep dark sea. Its growth is so slow that it attains sexual maturity at 150 years. Yes, it practically stays a kid for all those years. Imagine being underage for over a century. Hunted by whalers for centuries for their meat and oil, the 110 bowhead whale can live for over 200 years and will die from anything else other than aging diseases. It experiences slow metabolism and has effective cell regeneration and DNA repair. Its cell regeneration is so effective that some of the whales have been spotted with harpoons lodged into their body swimming around like nothing ever happened. From as early as three days old, a hydra can reproduce, but its most mind-boggling trait is that its ability to regenerate itself to a point of living to infinity. One scientist had put a hydra under observation for four years, and in those four years, the hydra had not aged one bit. That is how slow their aging process is. What is even more shocking is that it can live that long without a brain. In case of any decapitation, the WNT pathway sends signals to the cells where the head was cut off to form a whole new head. Under the right conditions, a whole new hydra can develop right from a chunk of tissue. That's not all. This regeneration takes place within a few days. In 1956, lab technologists discovered a new variant of bacteria in a can of ground meat. What was unnerving was how the bacteria had survived the large doses of radiation treatment meant to remove any hazardous form of life from the meat. The D. innocuous radioduran can withstand exposure to radiations of over 5,000 grays. For comparison, the normal chest x-rays in humans is only one gray and an acute dose of five grays is enough to kill a human. However, the Dianacus radioduran bacterium is capable of surviving over 1,000 times this dose. In the Guinness Book of World Records, it holds the title of being the world's toughest known bacterium. It is capable of surviving in acids, cold, vacuums, dehydration, and virtually in any extreme environment on the planet. Its superpower of dying and coming back to life is attributed to its incredible DNA repair response. These creatures are the full proof that immortality is not just a myth. One is only left wondering what it will be like to have the powers of going back to an earlier stage of their life, never aging at all. 
Could the study of these mysterious creatures be the breakthroughs to a never-ending youthfulness for humans? Maybe in the near future, scientists will have the answer, or maybe not.